Are you proud to be an American? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, maybe I won't just enjoy well, it. Sure. Um, I'm not sure. Yes. I'm not American. What are you? I'm Mexican and French. Okay. Yes, yeah, some days. I'm proud to be in somewhat of a free country, but a lot of the government stuff, no, not proud of that. I feel like yes, but I feel like there's some changes that can be made. I, I agree with that. I like that answer when you say I'm proud to be an American because when you're proud of something, you take care of it. There's a um, food truck that I got a burrito from and I got salsa and it was like tomato juice and so I was like okay how are y'all gonna like use someone's culture and then like appropriate it. Hey everyone Morgan here today I'm at UT Austin's campus and I am on a mission to find out is America racist and does white privilege exist? Let's go find out. Are you proud to be an American? Uh I guess. Yeah. Oh maybe I won't just enjoy well, it. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like yes, but I feel like there's some changes that can be made. I, I agree with that okay. statement completely. Yes. I'm not American. What are you? I'm Mexican and French. Okay. Yes, yeah, some days. Some days. Why only some days? Uh, because America's been doing a lot of bad stuff, especially lately, but you know, historically. I'm proud to be in somewhat of a free country, but a lot of the government stuff, no, not proud of that. Um, I'm Do you guys know those movies where it's a really rich family and there's this spoiled kid and they're like, I hate you, dad. Then they go run outside and jump into dad's Porsche or they're like, dad, why won't you give me $5,000 or why? Dad, why aren't you doing this? I hate you. Or you see those little bad kids that say, I don't like you, mom. Take me here. This is the same vibe. So sometimes I get from watching a lot of these videos when you ask this question, how do you feel about America? Because a lot of these students don't realize just how comfortable they are being American. And it's, it's very similar to those movies or those TV shows of the spoiled kid who doesn't like their parents. The kid gets everything in life. They get so much from their parents, their family, that they can't even imagine not having a life that they love. And because of that, they nitpick at their parents or their family and only focus on the most negative things they can, which aren't even that negative. But they can, they, they can only imagine goodness. And because of that, they don't understand how bad it can actually be. And this is the vibe I get when people say they don't care about America or love America. Or To me, it's like... <sighs> Let's continue. From Puerto Rico, and so I'm I'm proud to be Puerto Rican. I don't think it's the best right now, but there are also you know American dreams. Right. So I personally think there's a better country. There's a better country. What country do you think is better than America? <laughs> India. <laughs> are you proud to be American? Absolutely. What? I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Same here. Absolutely. Why are you proud to be an American? Well, quite frankly. I think it's good to be an American because of how we were founded. What do you think, my friend? Uh, that was well said. I agree with everything you said. Yeah, it's a great country. Um, it's good America. A lot of opportunity, a lot of great people. Uh, land of the free, home of the brave. We're free. Free? <laughs> That's true. I like the 4th of July. <laughs> but I feel like being American, since like a nationality, not an ethnicity, like I feel like saying I'm proud to be an American, I'm representing all of America. Are you proud of your ethnicity? Yeah, I am. 100%. That I am, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Are you proud to be white? Um, I wouldn't say proud. I was just born this way. Yeah. I think since we live in this country, we uniquely have the opportunity to grow from wherever we come from. And so I think first we should say I'm proud to be an American and then those other things I think will follow. I've been blessed to, to grow up in the home that I did and be able to live uh, in this great country, so yeah. I am proud of my grandparents, like they all immigrated here, so like I'm proud of the life they built here and like what they did with that. I wouldn't say like I am necessarily like, proud or unproud to be white, but I'm proud. I like that answer when you say I'm proud to be an American because when you're proud of something, you take care of it. And when you have a group of young people or an entire generation who thinks that it's cool to not be proud to be an American or who are very critical of America and not in a way where they say, well, I'm critical, let's fix this. It's more so in a way that says, I'm critical because this place sucks. 
when you have that type of attitude, it will lead to the degradation of America. And that will be a problem. So, yes, you do have to have some sort of national pride in your country if you're young especially because you are the future out of my family and how they built themselves here do you guys believe that white privilege exists in america yes 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 yeah i do yeah 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 i think so yeah yes i do oh yes by far and large america by and large is majority white and that's okay right like it's not saying that that's inherently a bad thing but acknowledging that yes white people have had privilege throughout you know their history um historically speaking there is economic and generational wealth that black people have does not have access to so it makes sense that yes white privilege exists here in america i don't think so there's so many success stories of non-white people in this country who have rose to the top, whether that's politically, through acting, through athletics, there's so many different avenues that, I don't know, I don't think that question is very helpful. Yeah, I don't think that there is anybody of any race, any color has had equal opportunity and done great things for this country. Yes, in some sense, but that's not exclusive to other races as well. How would you define white privilege being here? It's definitely like a different way of growing up and like perceiving the world. So I feel like being white, like in a majority, like white country is definitely like if every culture in America was monolithic and we all did the same things and white people were still on top of the economic and social realm, then there would be an argument for white privilege in today's society. However, not only are white people not the highest earning in, the, in America, when you look at colleges, they do not have the easiest chances of getting in, nor do they have the hardest chances of getting in. That that distinction belongs to Asian Americans or Asian people where they have to have higher test scores. That is proven. So when you say, yes, we have white privilege, I would my first question would be, why do you think that? And we're talking about 2024 because every time I hear these students talk about it or every time I hear someone talk about it, they talk about inherent success stories of the ancestors of hypothetical white people. Meaning these aren't real white people they see. This is, they're referring to a, or even if they are real people, they're referring to a very small minority of white people talking about generational wealth because today, majority of white people in America do not have generational wealth. If that was the case, I'm pretty sure their average salary would be higher than $65,000 a year. And this is not me nitpicking. This is just me saying them, the numbers. If they are, they do have generational wealth. If they do have generational privilege, why aren't they the highest earning in America? They are 70% of the population. If they do have all this privilege, why don't they have the easiest chances of getting into any public or Ivy League school? Where, like, this is real questions. I want someone to answer this. Please answer. Why aren't they at the peak? Why aren't they the best financially? Why don't they have the best chance to get into these schools? Why? Anyways, let's continue. Like a privilege that you have. I feel like the systems that we have in place for the like fundamentally run this country, um, justice system, educational system, the uh, police system, um, all of them really um, favor white people. They have opportunities to things that a lot of like women of color, men of color don't have. Yeah, I would just say disproportionate opportunities for minorities as opposed to white people. White people's opinions are just like respected more. If I were to say something in my class, but another like white person were to say the same thing, they'd listen to them and not really me. Usually being more advantaged in terms economically, um, they get a lot more opportunities. There's a lot less prejudices against them. Do you guys think that America as a whole is racist? Maybe not as a whole, but just like a few certain people who have been brought up in that culture, I want to say. Yeah, I wouldn't want to generalize anything, but like people hold opinions. Some people hold extremist opinions, but others are like, you know, they're pretty fair. I wouldn't say as a whole, but this is- My problem, and this is not an attack to the students. It's just when you hear anecdotal evidence suggesting that, oh, when I was in class, this happened. It's hard to even justify that because, for one, if we're watching this video and when she says, when I was in class and I said an opinion, it wasn't respected, but a white kid's opinion was respected, 
if we're watching this, we kind of have to take her word for it because we weren't in the class. We didn't see it. It's not something that is a statistic or an actual fact. And this is why I always ignore when people say stuff like that because how are we supposed to know that's why you were ignored? How are we supposed to know you were actually ignored or not respected because of your opinion? We don't know. And in, the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you're using these type of situations to justify your claim of white privilege, it makes it hard to respect your claim. Because if we really had systemic or systematic white privilege, it should be easy or it, should be, it shouldn't be hard at all to pull out facts and data in society to support your claim. But if you're not able to do that off the top of your head, then... How do I respect your claim that we have white privilege? And really think about what I'm saying. If someone asks you what color is the sky, blue, look at the sky right there. If someone asks you what's 10 plus 10, 20, easy. Someone asks you how much you make at work, you know easy. It's certain things in life that you just know that are just true objectively. And if you're so adamant that there's white privilege, then you should just know why you think that. You should be like, okay, yeah, it's white privilege because of this, 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 and this. Fact, 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 and fact. But if you aren't able to do that, it makes me question if you really are saying this opinion because you believe it or are you saying it because someone told you this. The system is definitely not fair to all people. We've had an influx of immigration of people, influx of diversity that we've not started with. And people's mindsets have changed. Obviously, we don't, we're not, our country isn't run by the same thought processes, but unfortunately, the foundation of the, the rudimentary, like, basis of our country has not changed. Do you think that America is racist? Yes. Yes, I would say so. The fact that we don't acknowledge that there are so many inequalities for people of color. It's always had a racist background, and then the fact that we're now trying to hide that history just continues, like, there is racism still. Historically, yes. The more I learn about things in our culture as America, it's just all, a lot of it is based in racism. No, I think that's one of the most vile pieces of rhetoric that exists in um, our modern political dialogue. The fact that we started in 1776 and were able to pretty much get rid of slavery in less than 200 years, when you look at other countries like Britain, um, different even African countries, different countries in the Middle East who had slavery for thousands of years, um, I think the U.S. is unique in that. Yes, we do live in a broken, fallen world, so there will be racism and things that are wrong. We've come a long way from how it was in the past. And so I say, yes, there is, but like, no, at the same time, it's it's a lot better. I think that question is just kind of an overgeneralization. America in general, like, I think it's not. I think it's made up of people who can maybe have like racist tendencies. I'm going to say this. It's important to frame it to where we're American first. If you say you're an American first, that gives you certain unalienable rights from God. Um, it gives you the right to um, live your life with the pursuit of happiness. Um, and all these things are enshrined in our Constitution. So if you say you're an American first and if you try to not get mixed up into what the media says and kind of divide you and, and try to divide and conquer different people. I think that is really an important piece of framework. That's facts, man. He, what he said was just true. <laughs> but if you have any suggestions for me, comment down below. So if I do, I'll see you